Hello everyone, this video demonstrates techniques for correcting underexposure in digital photos. For this demo, we will use our advanced photo editing and organizing application, Exposure. If you don't own Exposure already, you can download the fully functional trial from our website. The term underexposed refers to an image that captured too little light. This can be used for a pleasing effect to intensify the color saturation in a sunset but it normally refers to an image that is darker than it should be. Extreme amounts of underexposure usually result in a loss of image detail, especially in the shadow areas. Shadows in underexposed photos are often blocked up, meaning the darker tones are muddy and indistinguishable from each other. The image format can make a difference in how much exposure you can compensate for when post-processing. RAW is the best format to use because RAW images contain the most image data, which gives you more latitude to make adjustments. Adjusting exposure is the most common tweak made during post-processing. The basic panel is where to find the exposure slider, along with sliders for adjusting different tone values in your photo. At the top of the panel, click Auto to apply intelligent adjustments to your image. It's a quick way to get started making edits. Exposure controls the overall brightness of all the tones in the photo. It's the strongest adjustment you can make. When editing, adjust exposure first. Brightening the underexposed image completely can reduce detail in highlight tones, so monitor the highlights when increasing the slider. Shadows will control the darker areas of the image. When you're missing image detail in the darkest areas of the image, or when the shadows appear to block up into a mass of dark tones, adjust this slider. Blacks control the darkest tones in the image. Dial in this slider after making adjustments to the two other sliders mentioned. In case of clipping, where detail is missing in the darkest parts of the original raw image, Increase this slider to the point just before the details are lost. The histogram is a graphical representation of the tone distribution in the selected image. The ends of the graph are the brightest and darkest tones in the photo. Any portions of the histogram that touch either edge indicates a loss of detail, or what's known as clipping. Click the right arrow to enable the clipping warning that will indicate areas in the highlights that have lost detail. The red warning overlay will dynamically update as you make adjustments. In the histogram, you can click and drag directly on tone regions to change them. Notice the corresponding slider values in the basic panel are updated as well. Correcting underexposed photos can make colors in the mid-tone and shadow areas appear a little less saturated than those in properly exposed photos. After making adjustments to correct underexposure, carefully inspect the colors. The saturation sliders may need to be boosted to more closely match the coloring in the original shot. For more detailed control over the color saturation, use the color saturation sliders for highlights, midtones, and shadows in the color panel. You can also adjust the saturation of specific colors using the detailed adjustments on that panel. Thanks for watching. That's all we have for this video. Visit our website for more editing tutorials and additional information about exposure. For up-to-the-minute updates on our latest video content, subscribe to our channel on YouTube.